Hi friends of cocktails and lovebirds! With today's Valentine's cocktail, I'll show you the perfect drink to make for your significant other, to show how much you care about them and mother nature. We'll make a zero waste cocktail and garnish with classic Valentine's flavors like strawberry, wine, chocolate, but also vinegar and ricotta cheese. It might sound a bit odd, but we'll make it work. This will be another one of those episodes with homemade ingredients, a signature cocktail and a zero waste approach to minimize waste and use up everything we can to add to the final product. If that sounds good to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss episodes in the future. But now, it's cocktail time. Here are the ingredients we made for this low ABV, zero waste Valentine's cocktail. The base will be a ricotta washed Lillet Blanc. We'll also make a delicious strawberry shrub, add a few dashes of Campari, and we'll top up the cocktail with soda water or seltzer. The final touch will be macarons with a zero waste filling. Before we get to the recipe for the cocktail, let's first see how to make the ingredients. Let's start with Lillet Blanc, a wine based aperitif that I washed with ricotta cheese. If you made my homemade Bianco Vermouth, you can use that here as well. As for ricotta, it technically isn't a cheese, but a byproduct of making other cheeses. The name is Italian for recooked, so we are sustainable already. It doesn't have enough fat content to call this technique fat washing, but it will add a wonderful savory taste and round out the wine flavors. I mixed 200 ml of Lillet Blanc with 60 grams of ricotta. Add both to a container with an airtight lid. Make sure it's all nice and mixed, then place it in the fridge for 24 hours to infuse and settle. In the meantime, start working on the strawberry shrub. To make it, you'll need strawberries, sugar and vinegar. And a knife. I used the method shown by Megan on the WePro channel. She creates amazing cocktails with some great homemade ingredients, like this strawberry shrub. I'll leave a link to her channel, make sure to give her a sub, it's well worth it. For this recipe I used 125 grams of strawberries. Cutting away the green tops. Don't worry if you get a bit of the strawberry with it too. We're not throwing this away, but placing them all in a separate container, where you will infuse the vinegar for a little extra flavor. Roughly chop all of the strawberries, place them in a container and cover them with 100 grams of sugar. Stir well to make sure it's all nice and mixed in. Cover with a lid and get the vinegar to the strawberry tops. I used apple cider vinegar, but you could of course use other types as well. 150 ml will be the perfect amount for the shrub. Then let both of these sit at room temperature for 24 hours. After that has passed, I first trained the ricotta washed Lily Blanc through a rinsed coffee filter. Since the first few drops will be cloudy, it's best to refilter them once the ricotta creates an additional filter. This will then take some time, so you could go and finish a strawberry shrub, but through the magic of editing, this is now filtered and ready to be bottled. Just don't forget to save the strained ricotta for later. Here I used an original Lily Blanc bottle that I artistically labeled. Back to strawberry shrub. The sugar has sucked out a lot of juice from the strawberries making a delicious syrup. Strain out that syrup, which will then be mixed with vinegar. I used a muslin cloth, since this also allows me to make the whole process a bit faster and a lot more efficient. That's because I squeeze out the leftover syrup with a potato ricer. Same as with the ricotta, save the pulp for later. But first, time to strain out the strawberry tops from the vinegar. You can strain it straight into the strawberry syrup. With my specs, I got a yield of around 350 ml of this shrub which I'm happy with. Kept in the fridge, it should be good for almost up to a year. You can use it in sour cocktails, highballs, sodas or even desserts. And salad dressings. Speaking of desserts, for the final ingredient, the macaron filling. I used up the leftover strained strawberries and ricotta. First, scoop out all the strawberry pulp and place it in a blender. Add 50 ml of the shrub and let it run until completely blended. Next. Place the ricotta in a pot over medium heat. Once it reaches its boiling point, take it off and add 100 grams of white chocolate and start stirring. Add a pinch of salt, or if you don't have it on set, 
for drops of saline solution. Keep stirring until it's fully melted. Finally add the blended strawberry mix. Again, stir well to fully incorporate everything. Transfer to a container and place it in the fridge to cool for about 2 hours. Just enough time for a romantic movie. That will make filling the macarons easier, since the filling sets and hardens a bit. Since I wasn't making homemade or raw, I didn't have excess ground almonds laying around, waiting to be turned into macarons. So I was happy to find pre-made macaron shells, ready to be filled with this delicious strawberry ricotta filling. If you've made homemade macarons before and you have a great recipe, I'd love to hear about that in the comments. The leftover filling can be spread on pancakes or crepes for another delicious treat. Once you're done, you should of course treat yourself with what you've made first. Hmm. Then it's finally time to make the cocktail. It will be built in a chilled highball glass. So first, get that from the freezer. Fill the glass with ice cubes. Then start adding the ingredients. Start with 60 ml or 2 ounces of our ricotta washed Lily Blanc. Follow that with 30 ml or 1 ounce of the strawberry shrub. The sugar makes it heavier, so it will mix and sink, so it's good to add it after the Lily. Next, 3 dashes of Campari. Classic bitters would be too overpowering in this drink, but this will add just the right amount of bitterness. Finally, top up with soda water. No need for saline solution in this cocktail, due to a slight saltiness of the ricotta. Turn the cocktail gently to mix the ingredients, but keep the carbonation before adding the garnish. Beautiful. I'm calling this don't waste, my love. And now, at the end of the night, it's time to go in for the kiss. I mean, sip. Let's give it a sip. The prevalent aroma is from the strawberries, but it's gentle. Subtleness is the name of the game with this cocktail. The first thing to register on the palate is a strawberry shrub, with ricotta washed lily adding a savory backbone to the flavors. It's light, fresh and fruity, with a little kick from the vinegar and campari. Then comes dessert, it's simply delicious. And not just because it's totally guilt-free, since we used up ingredients that would otherwise have been thrown out. But I still recommend you enjoy it right at the end, to finish on a sweet note. Happy Valentine's! If you're looking for more Valentine's Day cocktails, make sure to check out the hashtag under this video. Love Potion 2022, a cocktail challenge set out to the whole cocktail community on YouTube and Instagram by Vino, Rob and David. And if you haven't seen last year's Cocktail Time Valentine's special, where I made the Mr. and Mrs. Cocktail with clarified lemon juice, check that out as well. Cheers, lovebirds!